Hi, boys and girls. Today, we're going to read a story, The Three Little Pigs. Do you know that each of the three little pigs built a house? I'll show you my little houses. One built a house out of straw, one built a house out of sticks, and the other one built a house out of bricks. And do you know what animal is there at the end? The wolf. Okay, are you ready? So Miss Kim's gonna read you a story, The Three Little Pigs. So, once upon a time, there were three little pigs. They lived with their mom, and one day mom said, you're all grown up now, it's time for you to go out into the world and live on your own. So, there's the mom, and she says, time to go. The pig said goodbye, and they went on their way. The first little pig decided to build a house made out of straw. Before long, he was finished, and he had time to relax in the shade. It was really quick to build. So there is the straw house. That was pretty simple, huh? The second little pig made his house out of sticks. He worked really hard, but he had time to relax in the shade. So there's the stick house. Now we're on the last pig. The third little pig decided to build a house made out of bricks. He worked very, very hard. It took him a really long time to finish his house and he did not have time to rest in the shade. Hmm, okay, so there is the brick house. Okay, so now we have three houses, three brothers. Hmm, soon after that, the big bad wolf came along he saw the first little pig napping in the shade. Mmm, that pig would make a tasty bite to eat, the wolf thought to himself. Now this is the pig that made the straw house. So can you see him on the bottom? Okay, let's see what happens. The little pig saw the wolf coming and ran inside his house. And the wolf said, knocked on the door. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. And what did the pig say? Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And the wolf said, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Guess what? The wolf did blow the house down because it was made out of straw. And the little pig ran to the next house. So there we go. He knocked on the door and he blew his house down. Okay, now the big bad wolf came to the second little pig's house, which was made out of sticks. The big bad wolf knocked on the door. <coughs> little pig, little pig, let me come in. What did the pig say? Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And the big bad wolf said, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Did he blow it down? Mm-hmm, so there we go, blew it down. So now we have the two pigs run into the other house. They ran to their brother's brick house and right behind them was the wolf. And once again, the wolf knocked on the door. <coughs> little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. And what did the pig say? Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And the wolf said, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Uh-oh, was he able to blow the brick house down? Mm-mm, he's gonna try again, you ready? <gasps> huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down. I can't blow this house down, he said. Hmm, there's the pigs looking at the wolf through the window. Oh, and don't forget, they're cooking something in the fireplace. And remember, it has a chimney. So the wolf did not give up. He climbed up onto the roof and he jumped down the chimney. Uh-oh, what's going to happen? He fell right into the pot of water that was heating on the fire. The water was so hot that the wolf jumped up and ran away. Oh, man. How hot was that? That burned his bottom. Was that silly? That's a great story, isn't it? Okay, so I have some projects for you to do next week. I'm going to send home a sheet, and you guys can answer some questions. I have three little pigs for you. 
and you can put them where they belong and you can talk about the story. See you later.